Hey all and welcome back to JNN Aquarium Supply. We had a lot of changes this weekend. We sold a lot of fish and we got some new fish, but uh, the auction was a great success, but the fish room looks much different. in this tank this is our 180 gallon tank and we sold a lot of males out of this tank um, there is a male clearly uh, Venustus but we sold the uh, dominant male in the tank and he's just starting to color up now we sold a lot of uh, male Mpenga reds and we sold a lot of male uh, radishes albino radishes there's still a couple in there and they're actually having some difficulty sorting the differences out right now but all in total, there is, I believe, eight fish got sold out of this tank. So it actually, to me, looks quite empty now compared to what it was. We do have some great things happening in here, though. Here is a proud papa. And not to mention, hat morais are on the CARES list. If you have hat morai, sign up for the CARES registration. And uh, we can help make sure this fish doesn't become extinct. Uh, I do realize there is a ton of them in the hobby, but let's just keep them going to the best standards we can. There's the proud mama, and we'll give you a picture, sorry, some video of the eggs. The eggs are in the egg tumbler in this five gallon tank. The bottom of this egg tumbler, I'll give them a little wiggle there so you can see. And I just give them enough air that it just gently bounces them. Uh, there's about 25 eggs in there, and that's pretty good for her first time having a mouthful of eggs. They will look much different in another week. Baby geos are growing just great. They actually look like fish now. They look like little geos. So we'll continue to grow them. And one thing we've started doing, because uh, I'm not happy with the results I'm getting off commercial fish for these fry. So there, the baby brine shrimp back up and uh, this will offer them great nutrition. Another reason we fired the baby brine shrimp back up is we've done some rearranging. This 65 tall is no longer a multifasceous tank. We already owned two male Parasip Negrinis and at the auction we acquired five more. So we're hoping there's some females in this batch um, they required more space than the 30 gallon tank 30 gallon tank and so did these guys here my green phantom Plecos they're in this 65 gallon now as well uh, They ate some zucchini last night and what would you know when I went to move These guys over What's in this cave a massive amount of wigglers and eggs they moved over just fine, and uh, they'll be baby green dragons in no time. The green dragons from the previous batch are just hanging on the side of the tank in a little breeder box. Still a huge survival rate, pretty much what we started with, and pretty soon they're going to go into the 90 gallon grow out tank right here along with everybody else that's happily enjoying life in there. There's a couple hundred fish in there now. Our zucchinis have flowers on them, so that's awesome. We're actually gonna get a zucchini off of our zucchini plants and lots more flowers coming. It's coming along just great. Hopefully we'll be able to feed our fish with their own fish poo soon. Our multifasceous colony has moved into the 35 gallon tank. They look like they're adjusting well. And we even managed to save, I would say, most of the babies. Not all of them, I'm sure a few didn't make it, but uh, it's very difficult to move it and save all the babies from them. But I'm very happy with how this turned out. They uh, look happy in there and it should be just fine. They've already started rescaping things. I didn't put all that sand and clown puke gravel on top of that rock. They've already moved the sand around where they can and they will continue to do so, so we'll keep watching. That's it for today's updates for this week. 
things are going great here like I said things have moved around a lot uh, but things are changing for the better around here um, even though they're already good so thanks for watching please subscribe and hit that notification button it's uh, subscribers that keep us going thanks again and we'll see you next time bye for now